This is six Slither.io techniques that you need to know. The techniques I'm going to talk about today are one, the art of stealing. Next, once you learn to steal, we have to learn to protect our points from other snakes. Then, we want to learn to anticipate the death of other snakes so we can steal more. After that, we're going to look at some attack moves. One is the squeeze, which is my favorite. Another is the hook move. And last, the art of circling other snakes, but we're going to learn to do it safely. So let's get started. We start with the art of stealing. When you play Slither.io, the single most important thing you can do to grow bigger is steal orbs from other snakes. Now get your mind in the sense of a snake. There is no honor, there is no fairness, there is no property. It is all about get what you can get. You are a scavenger and you should take everything you can, any chance you can. Master the art of stealing if you want to get big quickly. Once you know how to steal, you need to learn to protect your orbs from being stolen by other snakes. The idea is to put your snake body between the orbs and nearby snakes who might try to steal from you. Oftentimes, they will slam into you, allowing you to get more points by eating their dead bodies. Circling the orbs is a reliable way to protect them. But you're going to need to learn to circle safely, which we will discuss later in this video. Always look for new orbs and make your circle bigger to get them too. Don't be greedy. Just take what is safe to take. And if more comes available, keep on expanding your circle. Watch this case here where I take a small amount and keep adding to it. steal more if we learn to anticipate deaths of other snakes and position ourselves to feed from them. Especially look for big snakes moving fast in crowded places, or big snakes going into very tight spots, or look for two snakes that are battling each other. One of those is going to win, and if you're on the right side, you can feed off the losing snake. The squeeze involves trapping a snake between you and another snake and closing the gap so that it cannot get out. If you get stuck in a squeeze, you know you have almost no chance of escaping. It's a painful death. The squeeze is both offensive and defensive. You can use it defensively when you are being chased by another snake. You can use it offensively on an unsuspecting snake that is following around the body of another snake. You will catch many snakes with this move. In this last clip, I'm going to show several techniques put together culminating with a defensive squeeze against a much bigger snake. The hook move is a great attack for when a snake is chasing you in boost mode. Curl away from the chaser, and if he follows, then quickly hook back to cut him off. Since he is going fast and your hook back is creating a tight angle, snakes are unlikely to escape this. Circling is a well-known technique for catching snakes, but it can be dangerous because other snakes might then circle you. 
There are tricks to do it safely. One of the tricks is to stretch yourself out as much as you can. Another trick, which I don't have a video of, is to put part of your circle aside a bigger snake. That prevents other snakes from circling you unless they also circle a bigger snake too. Another way to stretch yourself out, which can sometimes let you catch more snakes, is to do figure eight patterns. This next trick I call pull the knot. Make a small circle around the snake and then go far away. When you return, it will likely be squeezed to death. One good way to circle an aggressive snake is by doing it when there is another snake nearby. The two snakes end up blocking each other and you can usually get both of them. Last, I want to show just how dangerous circling can be. In this clip, I did not want to let go of the snake that I had captured. I did every trick in the book to try to keep my prey. I did get him in the end, but ultimately paid with my life right after. I shouldn't have been so greedy. watching. If you like this and would like to learn other tricks, let me know.